this scene. So for me, Kylo Ren has a great character arc, even though I struggle with these yeah. movies. His arc is a tragedy. Oh my God, I really felt this scene because he's done so many unspeakable things. There's really no coming back from this except self-sacrifice. And he has this gut-wrenching conversation with his father in his dream. Well, let's watch. Hey, kid. Oof. Oof. I miss you, son. Your son is dead. No. Kylo Ren is dead. My son is alive. Oof. 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 That's heavy. You're just a memory. Your memory. Come home. It's too late. She's gone. Your mother's gone. But what she stood for, what she fought for, that's not gone. Ben, I know what I have to do, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. You do. Dad. I know. So I didn't understand this when I watched this movie. What does he what does he know he has to do but doesn't know he has the strength to do it? So in episode seven, he says, I don't think I have the strength to do it, which he's talking about killing his own father. Here, mm -hmm. I think he's kind he's going to the light side now, and he knows he's done terrible, terrible things. And what he has to do is sacrifice himself for the cause. Because there's no real there's no real coming back from what he's done except through self-sacrifice and so mm -hmm. he's worried he won't have the strength to make the sacrifice i think that's how i interpreted it hmm. and then the throwing away of the saber which tactically unwise is him. yeah because he could have taken that saber and gone after Palpatine. doesn't he need a it's saber just, it's just a saber it's not like a dark saber it's red though but so if he throws the saber i guess that means he's throwing away the dark side and the kylo ren past to now go hmm. self-sacrifice for ray and the rebellion and he's still unsure if he has the strength to do it plus his father uh and so he's I like so do, do you think han is a force ghost or is this this is actually just on kylo's head i think this is in kylo's head that was my interpretation because oh. i there's han yeah, doesn't he, han's not force sensitive or right. not so he, yeah right. so he would i guess only force users can become force ghosts somehow han all people become one with the force, but they're unable to do a force ghost unless uh, they're trained. You have to be trained and you have to be skilled in order to use it. I see. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's my headcanon. I don't actually know if that's true. I, I think I think it's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Just this scene, it was gut-wrenching father-son talk, the tragedy of it, the, the irredeemability of what Kylo has done. Gosh, it's heavy stuff. It's heavy. And like Kylo is looking for redemption and he's like conjured, he's conjured an idea of his father in, in his mind. And he's even, even then, like after killing his father, mm -hmm. he's still supportive and trying to help Kylo to the, to the good side. And like, yeah. this is what Kylo Ren needs to hear. And so he's making that, I see it. Yeah. Oof, heavy. Heavy stuff. But I mean, a good character arc. I mean, right. It's, it's brutal great, and yeah. tragic, but he dips down and sees the darkness and then he has to climb his way up it's frustrating in this movie in this trilogy of movies that there are arcs for finn and ray and poe and well kylo gets a great arc but there are arcs in there for everybody and it only really kylo gets this arc that i feel the other arcs i don't mm -hmm. feel i'm not sure why that's right but yeah. You know. Kylo's a bad boy, just like us. 